Okay, so in today's math lesson, we started talking about variables and area and volume and the fact that every variable uh, is represented by one number and one number only. And uh, then we started writing expressions and finding uh, some values. So here we go. So in our first rectangle here, we find that we, uh, we're looking at some units. And this would be my length and this would be my width because this is a rectangle. Okay, and typically my length is my left and right and my width would be my front to back kind of thing. But again, this is two-dimensional, so um, we're slightly limited on what it is we're doing here. Um, and as you can see, we have a certain number of squares inside. Now, area is measured, but with squares, right, is measured by some amount of squares, literally counting them up. Okay, so in this case, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 squares. Now, my length, as far as squares are concerned, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of them. I have 7. And my width would be 4. Okay. Now, for me to find this particular area without having to draw squares and count them all up would simply be to multiply them. I have 7 rows of 4, or 4 columns of of a seven kind of thing. And so that's what we do instead of drawing all these little squares out. So the length of this first rectangle, and let me label it rectangle A. This would be rectangle B over here. The length would be my seven. Now I don't have a particular unit, so I'll just write units. The width would be four, but in this case it's four units. Okay. Uh, written as an expression for the area, Area is going to be my length times the width, but as an expression here, uh, it's going to be my length times width, which is also going to equal my 7 times 4. Okay, I like to put lots of things in. And the area written as a number would be 28. But since they're written as squares, I need to symbolize that using a 2. So units squared are squared units, and there are 28 of them. Okay? Now, doing the same thing over here for the next guy. Here's my length, here's my width. And now they gave me a unit, which is very nice. So my length would be 46 meters. And my width would be the 32 meters. So, so for my expression, once again, it's length times width, which means I'm going to take my 46 and multiply it by my 32. Okay. And if I do that, my 46 by my 32. Let's see. So my 46 by my 32. I have a 12. I have a 9. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I have an 18. I have a 13 there. That's 6. A 17. 4. And uh, no, just a 1. Sorry. Just that 1. So 14. 1, 4, 7, 2. That should be a 12 there. Sorry. That's a 12. Um, in this case, meters squared. Okay. So 1,472 meters squared. Okay. Messed up that multiplication problem pretty good. Anyway, so that's that deal. And then we went on to start talking about volume. So in volume, using variables to represent, we have our length. Okay. Six centimeters. We have our width, which is two centimeters. We have our height. 8 centimeters. Okay, three-dimensional. There they are. And a cool example using that is down here. As far as the chart is concerned, we'll just do one of these. We'll just do this guy right here. Okay. And here's my length. Okay. Here's my width. Here's my height. And I can start plugging things in. So here's my 12 units. Okay, here's my length. My width would be 5 units. My height would be 15 units. And as an expression, now I'm using V for volume. Length times width times height, which would be 12 times 5 times 15. Okay? And then you multiply that out to get your total here. So my volume would equal 900 cubic units or units cubed, okay? 
So that's the deal, folks. All right. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.